Now, again, if you're going to use auto hotkey to make automatic hotkeys, well, then it's a pretty simple process, which we will be discussing in this video. So, again, if this is purely your intent, if nothing else is what you want to do, if you don't want to do anything else, make auto hotkey strips. All you have to do is go to your desktop, right click, say make a new auto hotkey strip, and then basically name it anything you want with a .ahk after it. So for instance, we're just going to make name this new auto hotkey script .ahk. Done. Now we can literally say we want to run that script. Nothing's going to happen because we haven't uh, anything to it. But anyway, so yeah, we're going to compile that script. Just press compile. Then we are going to edit the script. So now that we've gotten this far, all we really need to do now is create our hotkey. It's a very simple process. Here are some of the symbols for keys. Uh, and here are some more symbols for keys. There are a lot of this is in just the tutorial of auto hotkey it's of auto hotkey help itself. So if you need to go into more detail, just go into the Magana tutorial, etc. In any case, all we need to do to type in a hotkey is basically use these symbols. So let's say that I wanted to make I don't know, CTRO, which is an up arrow, uh, one, the same as CTRO V, which would basically make it paste in pretty much any application. You already have a shortcut for this, but this is just an example of a highly used shortcut. Maybe it's within the constraints of your own uh, computer, but in any case, that is the first thing you need to do. And you always use these two symbols after what you'd like your hotkey to be. So after you've made this hotkey, you press enter and you go to send comma what it's going to do so in our case it's CTRO V and then we're gonna say return after this and that's it just file save that and you have made a new auto hotkey we're gonna say run script and now we're gonna go to uh, now we're gonna go to Google now we can just copy that, and then instead of CTRL V, which also works, we can do uh, CTRL 1, and that works too. Very simple, very easy. Now, um, once you activate this auto hotkey script, it basically keeps running until you stop it. So let's make a new folder. Name it auto hotkey. Why not? And then we're going to put our script inside AutoHotKey. So, um, it's a little bit tedious, but you can make a new... You basically just make a new AutoHotKey script, and then just, like, name it .ah, .ahk, AutoHotKey after it, and you can do whatever you want with that. So, let's edit that script and say, uh, CTRL2 is going to be the hotkey for sending the keep sending the key press uh ctrl x whatever and this will help me in an editing program that i use and then after that just say return very very simple just save that and that's literally a second auto hotkey script that, that's it. That's how you make an auto hotkey script. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will make sure that I get back to you and even make a more comprehensive tutorial if that is necessary. But I don't think it will be necessary because this is a fairly simple thing to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.